welcome back. You're watching Doofuscopy TV here at the IFX Expo Asia in coordination with FX Street and Forex Peace Army. Joining me next in the booth is Sean Dilks of Forexware. Sean, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks, Natalie. Now, we're here in Asia, which is not only a technological hub, but also a financial one. We're home to two of the BRICS nations and also half of the world's population. As Asia continues to outpace Europe, really, how important do you consider the Asia market to be? And how does your company look to differentiate itself here? Well, I think the Asian market is certainly one of the largest markets in the, in the world, um, both in people size but in their eagerness to trade. Um, the Asian customers certainly have different strategies. They're not, uh, European customers tend to be more conservative. Uh, Asian customers tend to be a little more aggressive. Um, particularly, and even in Asia, there's different regionally, um, different regions will trade differently. So within China, they tend to be a little more um, get in and out of the trades very quickly. And in Japan, they tend to take a little longer view on their, than their trading. In its quarterly report, Forex Magnate suggests that M the MT4 platform represents approximately 20% of the retail market. More and more brokers naturally are adding different trading platforms to the market. How do you then consider yourselves to be different and how do you see the future of trading technology? I think the, the future of trading technology is really making sure that customers are happy. In the end of the day, you have retail customers, they're the ones that are using the software and it's really important that they have a piece of software that they're very comfortable with. Um, there's been a lot of innovation over the years and MetaTrader was certainly a very um, bigger player into the world and what MetaTrader did is they made it very easy for a small broker to um, start offering the software. For a reasonable amount of money, they, able to, they were able to buy the whole software, the server, and everything else and start it up. What we're seeing now is there's a lot more um, products like we offer, which is the broker in the box starter kits. And we have starter kits where brokers can get into the business for nothing. So instead of having to buy software and support it to maintain it, um, they're able to get into the business for a very, very low cost of entry and still provide customers with the value added software on the front end. Now, something which really seems to be gaining traction within retail FX is the open platform concept of technology. Why is that and how sustainable in the current environment do you consider that to be? Uh, the open platform, it's not new for the trading world. Um, you know, I like to look at equity, the equity industry, which is a lot more mature than the FX world. And certainly there's plenty, a lot more people in that business. Um, and. The, F, the equities world, there's been, there were some open players, but I think the biggest problem is connecting everything to the back end. Um, there really has to be a very strong implementation between the front end and the back end. And I don't think there, I think from an open platform perspective, I think it's going to very, be very difficult for them to maintain traction. What then are the biggest challenges that you're facing then when attempting to attract new clients? How do you think brokers are changing and, and what are you doing in turn then to change with them? I think the, the biggest piece is they are, everybody's looking for more functionality. Um, the retail people are looking for something that's very robust that they can trade wherever, whenever and have all the cool and latest tools. Um, and that includes social trading, that includes, which we've just done a large integration with, we're partnering with another group. Um, we're, social trading, there's the, um, the trading from charts, there's the algo trading. All of these pieces in a package need to be offered to customers. There was web-based trading. Um, so I think the end user is really the one that's driving it and they need to have all these features available to them. What factors then will influence how firms essentially go about choosing their technology partners to, to help them differentiate between their brokerages and also achieving their business objectives? I, I believe that the, the, the most important thing for the, for the brokerages when they're looking for the software is something that's easy for them to run, something that's very robust and will meet their clients' needs and help them differentiate themselves within the, the, the other within the other brokers in the region. And by doing that, we're, we offer a white label package where it's fully customizable. They can customize it any way they want. Um, we offer multiple spread packages, so if they want something that's more aggressive pricing but offer commission versus 
commission bait, non-commission, and a little, little wider spread. Uh, so I think the flexibility for the broker is very important so they can differentiate themselves amongst their customer base. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Natalie. Sean Delks there of Forex Wear. That's all we've got time for right now, but don't go away. We'll be back shortly with another exclusive interview with an industry leader here at the IFX Expo Asia. Goodbye for now.